In this video, I'm going to show you how to safely install and use your kitesurfing line mount. The line mount of my choice is Hugo and by the way, there are many other brands on the market uh, with slight design differences but uh, in any event they are all serving the same purpose and that is to deliver you the viewer the unique point of view from the camera which is hanging off our bar lines my main principle when it comes to installation of a device slash mount in between my kite lines is safety so first thing first we need to learn and see how to do it correctly a good and reliable light mount has got a shape of a horseshoe like this one the camera can be attached to this mount only in one position so it's beneficial to use cameras like GoPro Max which is 360 degree camera or any other GoPro Hero cameras which can accommodate the Max lens mount and for now that is GoPro Hero 9, 10 or 11 and by the way this mount can uh, accommodate any other um, action camera and later on in this video i'm going to give you a few more tips in regards to settings for best results this line mount is designed and works best with uh, the four line bars and low uh, v setups so low vertex bars and what is the v setup on a kite bar basically it's the position of the vertex of your lines and the vertex means where two front lines are dividing us splitting so when we're talking about the low V setup, that vertex is low, just uh, at the top of the range of motion of your bar when you fully shit out. Whereas when we're talking about the high V setup, also referred to as Y setup, because it resembles, or the lines resemble the letter Y, when two of them come together past the midsection of the lines of the bar, and then they divide, split, and so that creates like arms from the letter Y. So now the vertex, of the bar is very high and that way we refer to it as a high V. This line mount is supposed to be fixed onto the front lines of your bar. Just to indicate to you the two lines which are far away, your steering lines, those are the back lines and the ones in the middle, those are your front lines. So this goes to the lines in the middle of your bar which are the front lines. You go line mount in accordance to the manufacturers should be placed between 85 to 130 centimeters from the vertex of your lines. That's been said that's the low V setup so low vertex. Now as you can see here we've got a red marking on one of the arm of the mount and the gray marking on the other one. This is important because this governs which side goes on which line. And those two sliders, they've got two different thickness of the groove. In this angle, you can see that in here we've got shallow and here we've got deep groove. So we've got the bigger groove and the more shallow groove right here in the middle, which I'm on about, right? Right here. Here is also our camera mount on one side. So out of those arms, we can pull out the sliders in which the line is going to be. So if you ever end up in a situation that these two are out and you're not sure, you cannot remember which one's supposed to go in which, it's very simple to remember that. Think of it like this. Your camera always supposed to be attached to something firm. So for example, if you're using GoPro bite mount, you put the mount into your mouth uh, so your head is a firm connection point right if i'm connecting my camera to uh, my surfboard with the surfboard mount then the board itself is a firm connection point so on this mount this shows you where is the fixed connection point it's this side what you're supposed to put in here the slider with the narrow groove because the narrow groove will stop the line from moving or allowing the mount to move on the line so this side is the red side and as you can see it only goes one way so if you ever get confused which way this should go in it only allows you to push it in one way this side stays fixed whereas the gray one the one with the deeper groove has to go in this side and which line this is supposed to be attached to as you probably guessed, this has to be attached to your safety line. So your red line on the bar, 
or typically red line it's not always red forget about matching the colors red not supposed to go red in this example just look at the grooves because remember if you trigger your safety system so your chicken look quick release safety line has to go through the deep groove because then the bar can and the line can slide through it. The line mount manufacturers uh, also advise you to have additional safety for your camera itself because the mount can for some reason snap and that's why the Yugo gives you in a box this string. It is a similar type of string which you would get uh, with your surfboard mount. What I like to do is I like to add this little caliper which then I attach to the line so in unforeseen event if the line mount uh, breaks at least my camera is safe yes if the line of the kite snaps then off you go with the camera as you know your kite gear is designed very thoughtfully and it's supposed to work in a certain manner and it's safe and those unforeseen situations are not happening often so yes there could be a situation when you crash your kite or your kite getting entangled with another kite and for some reason those lines are splitting too far out breaking the mount uh, so this type of line comes handy and uh, it gives you this additional safety for your camera the way i attach this string to my gopro is by feeding it just over the hinges of the legs of the GoPro because uh, at one time I did put the string through the holes where the screw goes through but you can imagine now the screw is then blocked by the string and it's rubbing against the string so if it was gonna put it in and put it out uh, very often that will basically affect your um, line and you will have to change it so this is very nice and very reliable anchor point for the camera When it comes to GoPro settings for best results, I am using my GoPro Hero 10 Black with the Max Lens Mod, which then allows me to record in 2.7K. I am recording in 4x3 aspect ratio, and I turn on the um, max stabilization for best stabilization possible. Also, what's important, I am turning my horizon lock on, so then when the bar moves and the kite and the lines are 
basically spinning the camera will look for that horizon so it can always fix itself to the correct position and uh, additional uh, tip here in terms of settings i am locking the orientation of my camera so i am locking it to horizontal orientation now one more thing is that i am using the um, remote on telecine and it's the t10 model according to the manufacturers it's supposed to be water resistant and waterproof but when i looked on the internet i am finding uh, like a misleading information because uh, some people say it's uh, waterproof some people say it's water resistant so when you look on the uh, remote itself it has got the charging connection point which is uh, exposed it's not sealed with the rubber or anything so what i do i put some gaffer tape or you know gorilla tape or whatever you want to call it to protect uh, my um remote when i go into the water and i never had an issue with it the only time uh, i occurred any type of um, difficulties with using it is when i went out in a very cold uh, weather last thing to mention is that the yugo line mount is uh, compatible with standard 1.3 millimeter bar lines in this short clip you're going to see me trying to install uh, the mount itself onto my duotone click bar from 2019 with the lines of a slight thicker diameter and the whole installation process failed i wasn't able to install that mount onto the lines itself if i really wanted to i could push the red slider with the narrow groove through the line and uh, just squash it a little bit but I didn't want to risk damaging the line itself, so just keep that in mind. Yeah.